Stairmaster. <laughs> so I'm taking it serious when I said I'm trying to get shredded. Uh, is cardio for me necessary? To get where I'm trying to go, yes. I could get lean without it, but I won't get peeled like six, seven percent without doing cardio. But not only just to get one or two percent more threaded than usual, but my conditioning is poor and there's really no better way to improve your conditioning than with cardio five times a week. I'm starting off the first week, 30 minutes. Then um, after a month, I'll bump it up to 40. Uh, Stairmaster and the elliptical is what I'll be alternating between. I'm actually buying elliptical today so I can do it fasted at home first thing in the morning. Power is like 140, so this, of course, I'm a big beginner when it comes to cardio, so I'm at a slow pace. But with cardio, you want to go where your condition level is at, so don't try to overexert yourself in the beginning. If you see someone doing 40 minutes of cardio and they look like they're sprinting, you don't have to keep up with them. You just do it where you maintain a heart rate between 120 and 140. If it exceeds 140, it's okay. I'll cut up at like 150-ish. Um, I'm actually doing cardio today before training, right before training. I'm training in the next 20 minutes. Uh, I haven't get the elliptical at home yet. But I don't want to wait any longer. Um, I just hit that 425 deadlift. Um, this is my first training session back two days later. And I'm very motivated to get back in shape, or I'll stay in my best shape because cardio is something new for me. So I'm very curious to see how my body will look and feel after a month of doing cardio five times a week. All right, what's up guys? Just did some cardio and Andrew and I are about to smash upper chest, arms and calves. Uh, I had two days of rest since my 425 deadlift PR. Energy is super low. After cardio, this is the first time I've done cardio in years, so as you can imagine, conditioning is very poor. Uh, today's workout is going to be interesting. <laughs> I feel like I'm already going hypo a little bit. I'm not on insulin, but it feels like I am. <laughs> uh, anyways, we're going to get right to it, kick it off with machine flies and rear delts. And if you haven't already, check out purelifestyle.com for the gray PR tank top and the Royal Jagged HPR shorts. Myself, I'm wearing the gray PR shirt and cargo military green shorts. All this available for lifestyle.com. And check out teampressrecord.com. Programs, BD talk, live workouts, and some, some more stuff on the site. Check it out. Let's get to it. Yes, sir. Oh, God. I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Photo press. We're not done. And with the uh, cable flies, I mean, bump dumbbell flies. Yeah, sure. We can okay. do it, dumbbell flies, and sweet, no problem. So we're gonna stop uh, right off the chest, pause, like three second pause, and then it squeeze the top as well. So we just do six, eight, no problem. Yeah? Six to eight reps. No, like minimum six and maximum whatever you can. Yeah, I was thinking more like. Minimum 10, uh, actually, yeah, minimum six. Yeah, six to 10. Six, six and above. Yeah. And uh, we'll superset it with dumbbell. Yeah. One, two, three, double. There we go. Stop right above the chest, like an inch off. Yeah, you mean? Like stop like right off the chest. Okay. Like an inch or two. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to enjoy the summer. <laughs> From September, okay, yeah, and we'll start the credits. Yes. There you go. Let's go. 
Yes. Perfect. Three more. Come on. Finish it. Come on. Two more. Drive. Nice. One more. Press. Yes, sir. Nice. We'll get the job done anyway. <laughs> get the ass up or put it down. Get the job done. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so I haven't pressed since lockdown about a few months ago, no pressing in. Now I notice the stability has gone, so I feel very shaky, even with only 100 kg on. 140 is very shaky, so I'm actually have my wraps on the way. Do the last set with my trusty PR wraps, <laughs> added with stability. Um, and I usually would go more weight, but... I want to keep good technique and that my muscle connection strong. If I go heavier, it'd be difficult for me to really contract my upper chest. I'll end up just throwing it up for power when my main goal right now is sculpting it. So this is a good way for that. Try to get like 10 reps or more with a good squeeze at the bottom and top. And uh, wrap it up with some dumbbell flies. I'll sit with 30 kg. That was that was hard enough. You actually took like 60% of your energy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yep. Summer. Yes. 
Push. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> All right, so just <laughs> push up, softly down, Bell. No. <laughs> Elevated, yeah? Uh, oh. oh, you mean both? Elevated yeah. and with dumbbell. This will be here. Legs will be here. Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's the same as doing flat bench, double dumbbell. Yeah, the same helpful separation and also for more uh, blood, blood you know, like flow into the muscle. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> together. Together, bro. Together? Together, John. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Go slowly. Up. How are you? Yes, sir. Come on. Yeah, gas out, hit a wall. <laughs> it's like, oh, I had like 10 more, and then did one rep and just gassed out. <laughs> that was good. It's all right. I have to do a hammer curl now, though. Break out those 140 pound uh, dumbbells so you can do those hammer curls again. <laughs> rematch? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Rematch, right? Rematch. <laughs>
To the upper chest, arm, and calf workout. As I mentioned in the intro, the cardio wiped me. Uh, I felt like the first half of the set I was okay, but then I hit a wall very quickly. So the energy stores just got quickly depleted. I will take some ECAs yeah. during my next workout. Water isn't enough. Um, not caffeine, I'm very caffeine sensitive, so unless I really have a big heavy PR to do or a big heavy strength session. I don't want to take pre-workout because, like I said, I'm very caffeine intolerant, so I get very anxious, I can't sleep at night, I get the jitters and shivers. So I really only take pre-workout caffeine when I absolutely, absolutely need it. Today wasn't one of those days, but I will need electrolytes because, I show. as you can tell with the workout, I kept hitting a wall. I'd be no problem, and all of a sudden, oh, just hit a wall. So I'm going to get food as quickly as possible. <laughs> my carbs are cut to a fraction of what it was leading up to my deadlift PR. I was at about 700 per day. Now I'm down to only about 250, 300. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. So that's a, huge cut. Huge cut. You know, I'm only really having carbs pre-workout and then moving uh, forward for the rest of the day, no more than 50 grams of carb each meal. So what do you got right now when it comes to carbs? Uh, actually, I stopped counting. I'll be honest. <laughs> I'll be honest. Well, like a rough estimate. Stop counting, but I'm doing... Rough estimate, I'm doing 200 to 300 every day, but my protein is top notch. It's way above its limit, even. Yeah, so I'm just, I'm just trying to be lean always, as usual. No body fat, everything is still the same. Yeah. So it's just <laughs> stay lean all through September, all through the, all through the summer, and we'll see what happens from September. So when cutting, for those who struggle refraining from eating more than they should. High protein is very necessary because it keeps you full longer, keeps you feeling satisfied. Yeah. So you can have quite a large portion of protein, chicken, beef, fish, yeah. and your calorie intake will be quite low considering if you had an equivalent size in carbs. Exactly. So you can have like, for example, 200 grams of chicken and only like 30 grams of carbs, but you can still feel full yeah. for quite a few hours. So. Like me, I cut, uh, I mean I cut, uh, I haven't cut out chicken, I'm just doing fish. Just fish. All fish, yeah, Oof. because I find fish more, you know, like easy to digest, and I don't have that, that like, you know, like fullness or bloating. It just goes in and goes in. But chicken, I eat it like twice a day, and I'm like, I've messed up. So I cut everything down to fish, the rice, and whatever stuff, 200 to 300, and that's it. I can imagine what his yeah. farts smell like. Nothing but fish. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible, bro. It's terrible. And now I also have got the mask on. Even, That's the real reason. Even at bedtime. Even at bedtime, the mask on. Are you breathing your ears? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some air fresh, not even like this. So always like. Pssst. Yeah, but it's a it's a price that we all have to pay. But I'm not saying someone else should go. This, this, this is stuff that I've studied and done for myself, and it works. So yeah. exactly. On that note, uh, Andrew and I are both, we both have the intentions of being shredded for the summer. I think you want to like, bulk up during the winter, is that right? Yeah. A little bit? Yeah. 20 but pounds of lean muscle. Not 30. 20 pounds. 20 pounds. Lean heavier. muscle. 
lean muscle. That's going to be a sight to see. I'm exactly, very yeah. interested to see what that looks like. For so. six months, that's my. We'll start from September. But we'll still stay lean, still get the same amount of muscle in it. It's not possible for you to get fat anyway. So. No. It's all right, you'll be lean anyway. Yeah. If you haven't already, PillarStyle.com for all my merch. So the black, red, black, gray, and yellow, blue OG belt are sold out, but the tan and black premium leather belts are available. Check them out. And Andrew down. see you in the next bit. Love you guys. Yes, sir.